So at CCF, we've started up a model farm. So this incorporates the goats, the sheep, the dogs of all different shapes and sizes. Goats and sheep are an integral part of farming in Namibia. So the problem with uh, conflict between predators and the livestock is a key problem that CCF try to deal with. We address it by having our model farm here and by teaching farmers different livestock management skills. It's not all about goats. It's not all about dogs. It's not all about the wildlife. It's not all about the habitat. It's not all about the farmer, his animals, or his farm. It's not even all about his livelihood. It's not even all about the cheetah, the leopard, or any other predator found in Namibia. It's not all about any one of those things. It's about all of those things working collectively together. So our efforts here at CCF pull in expertise from all of our departments, be it ecology and the husbandry, and working out in the field with the farmers, finding out the problems. And with the use of livestock gardening dogs, we can really help find that solution and it's achievable for farmers of Namibia. Now one of the elements are our livestock gardening dogs. They're born here at CCF, they're raised by their mothers, then raised amongst the goats and the sheep that in future they will be destined to protect. They move on to the farmers at around about eight weeks of age and after a slow training program they become some of their most best and loyal dogs and servants that these farmers could ever wish to have. So it's not even all just about puppies. It's, uh, these are Anatolian Shepherd dogs and these dogs have been used for thousands of years protecting flocks originally in Turkey but now doing very very well in Namibia. Over the years CCF have placed 400 of these puppies up and down Namibia and uh, to this day still a large number are protecting the, the herds and the flocks of sheep and goats against all sorts of predators, making predator friendly farming a reality. To either help, contribute or to find out more about this project or the many other conservation initiatives that CCF are engaged in, please visit our website at www.cheetah.org.